That's an order right there. How do you make? How do you make? Oh, good, 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 good. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to today's video. I'm currently meandering through the historic narrow streets of Sampeng in Chinatown, getting a sense of what downtown Bangkok is like at this moment in time. Stick around because it appears that the good old hustle and bustle is back, and I can't wait to share with you folks watching at home what this place is like in 2021. So what do you have? I'm at you have 10 baht for each. Yeah, this one's 30 baht. 30 baht. 30 baht. Oh, they've got sauce as well. Wow. Ooh. Pet mate? Spicy, spicy. Spicy, huh? Okay, what? Okay, I'm trying to go. Okay, 75p or exactly $1. Time to try. It's exactly how a sausage would taste with a bit of spicy sauce on it. Wow. Jackfruit, yeah? Still drizzling down here in Bangkok. So we're gonna keep to walking around Sampeng. Wait, do, do we not even need to wait for the green light? Green light, sorry. Okay. Carbon cab. I think this is the most outer portion of the market. I think if we finish this street as well, there won't be any more Sampeng. I'm not sure, but we can explore that fact together. Oh, it's quite busy in here. This third part of the market, this third street that we're on, isn't so well sheltered, as you can see. The only shelter that's providing this kind of street is these banners that are sticking out from the shops. Oh, look, we've come all the way to this famous street here. There's a canal that goes through here. Ah, oh, look, they've got like a little live band going on at the moment. I'm guessing this is the cast or the crew. So we're right now walking through Sapan Han where there's a canal just along here. It's a very beautiful street filled with loads of restaurants. It's a good place to eat here in Sampeng. But there's also a lot of children like playing around. It's very lively. I've actually featured this street in a previous video. Look at it, it's gorgeous. But you'll see like some makeshift coffee shops, movie bars, playing music, just like the one in front of me. A lot of these restaurants down Sat Han Han like use plastic chairs, plastic tables, wooden tables, literally sit outside of their houses in a very crude fashion. That's amazing. Hello. Are these original? Eh? Original, authentic Thailand. Uh, what was it lime? Lemon tea. Lemon tea or lime tea? Lemon tea. Lemon tea. Aloe. 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 Okay, let's try, yeah. Look at this. This person's had his shop here for 70 years. 70 years! That's, that's almost like three times my age. So this business here has been going since 2483 in the Thai calendar. If I do the math, I'll have it displayed on screen. Oh really? Aroi? What is it? Lychee. And that is not like a plum. Plum. A bit sour, no? Oh, Aloy. 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 Yeah. That is really good. Isaka. Oh, okay. 25 baht. Look, come here. Come here, people. Lemon tea. Really good. You'll see these two friendly people here. Oh, the rain is starting to pick up. Hatai. No, I can't be bothered. Really good tea. Uh, I think the rain is starting to pick up as well. Oh, this is Ama Hostel. I don't know if this hostel is expensive, but there's lanterns along here that are really, really nice. Chinese lanterns. Take a look at this. At night time, this place is glamorous. All right, so the plan is to cross to the other side of Sap Han Han Street, and then uh, we're going to go back to where like the sheltered market was in Sampeng, because the rain has really picked up again. So as we're quite far from the sheltered part of Sampeng, we're going to get a tuk-tuk to go there. Yeah. He's angry with me because he doesn't tell him we have palang. <laughs>
Jamaica. Yarrat Road on a dreary day like this looks stunning. Uh, we were just planning to go home, but since we're on Yarrat Road, let's take a look at what street food looks like here in 2021. Just sit back. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't come to Yarrat Road too often when it's still bright outside. I usually come here when it's really dark, night time. It looks a lot more stunning at night than it does at day because all the street lighting turns on, giving it a really nice neon vibe. So as it's around about 5.25 p.m., the capacity of Yarrat Road right now looks around about 50% or maybe just under 50%. But later on during the night, around about 7, 8, you'll see a lot more street food stores popping up along this street. Wow, there's so much smoke being emitted from that store there. Oh, I feel like it's in my face mask. These two particular street lights, when they are lit up at night, have this really nice aqua tone being emitted from them. But all these Chinese signs along Yaorat Road, these colossal big signs, they're all in relation to buying and selling gold where underneath them, they had their respective shops. Right, so I've been to Yarrat Road a number of times, but I've never seen this small shop. Like, it's really hidden. Lao Teng 438. Take a look at this. This is cool. Making my way up some narrow staircase here. Hello. What is it? Coffee? Coffee? coffee restaurant? No, no coffee. Oh, restaurant? Restaurant, yes. In Kawa? Yes. What is upstairs? Cocktail bar? Yes. Wow. These ain't actual brick walls that you see, they're just wallpaper of bricks. Wow. Take a look at that. There's a whole library theme going on here with plants hanging from them. Okay, so this restaurant that we're in called Lao Teng has only been open for two years. They opened just before the pandemic hit. So they had to close for about four months. So what we ordered here, we ordered some Chinese tea, yeah? Okay. Called Get Guo here. Yeah? Get Guo. So if you can't tell from teacups, this place is a Chinese restaurant and we've ordered some Chinese food from here. I don't know what we've ordered. I was washing my hands upstairs and my girlfriend's gone ahead and ordered. So it's just as much of a surprise for me as it is for you. So the only thing I ordered was a passion fruit drink. But what on earth is that? Why are they purple like that? Oh, we got some more stuff arriving. Be careful, hot. Yes, I knew. Oh wow, I had no idea there was a balcony at this Lao Teng restaurant. You've got a balcony that overlooks Yao Rai Street. A really unique view. Hello. Whoa. Is this sweet potatoes, huh? If we go to Mars, this is what this is the food we're gonna be eating. I'm trying to work out what's going on in here and I have no clue but apparently according to my girlfriend uh, apparently the purple sauce is sweet potato 
Mm. I think I need to eat more to be able to judge whether it's aloe or not. But so far, I want to eat a little bit more. Our shore is becoming a lot busier. Okay. Going for my second, actually, this is probably like my third or fourth bite, but anyway. The next thing we're going for is just like flatjack. So according to the menu, this over here is deep fried tuna and shrimp. Definitely on the savoury side of this. Oh man. This all worked out to 739 baht. Okay, look at this. So they've given us some ginger tea as a free compliment. And look at this. On the cup it says, it has a brand and it says, women equals ginger. Ginger equals cure. Hence, they've even got like the three dots like in maths. Cure equals women. Hashtag stay safe and agile. I don't know why they would go with this brand in but anyway. Okay, so we've now finished up with Lao Teng and we're gonna start heading home. But first, we need to go get our car parks in the car park in Yarat Road. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share with friends and family. And I will catch you in the next video. Many thanks for watching and take care. Bye for now. Boom. And just like that, we're on Yarat Road again. <laughs>